Hey what's up guys welcome to Lara Tapes. This is just a quick video where I am going to show you one tool by which you can run any Laravel code using an application. I think you all have heard about Tinkerwell so if you haven't heard about Tinkerwell then it is just an application but it is paid one which you can buy and run Laravel or any PHP code within it. But what if I say you there is an open source application similar to that of Tinkerwell so it's called Laravel Kit. So I'll just leaving the link of this GitHub repo just below that like button. Just check it out and give it a thumbs up. So if you scroll down, so if you see here in the download section, you can download it for Windows, Mac as well as for Linux. So you can download exe file and install it for Windows. Similarly for Mac OS, you can download DMZ file and install it. And similarly for Linux, you can either install app image or DEB. So if you are using Ubuntu, then you can directly download the DEB and directly click to install it but if you are using this app image file then just download it and make it executable and you can easily open that file so i have already downloaded this app image okay so i'll be showing you in a linux so if you see here this is this laravel kit by default when we click on it it will not open so we have to run one command so let me open the terminal so to it so it is currently in the desktop so let me go to desktop and now we can do is ch mode u plus x so give the executable permission to the user and give the path of this file so we are currently in the desktop so it is currently in the desktop directory so i am giving dot slash and the name of the file and if i hit enter so the permission of this file has been changed and user can now execute this file so now if i click and open it now you can share this it is opening this window now if i click on project and open project so just search a laravel project wherever you have kept it so i have kept it under sites and inside this laravel 8 so i'll just click on open and now it will open this one so now we can run any of the rt artisan commands using the ui or we can run any code so first of all let me show you that by looking at the code so when we open it will show like this so let me just remove it so if i show you here it is currently connected to the database so if i show you dot env file here so it is connected to the database here this laravel 8 database so this project and it also has this users table so we have these data here three users yeah so let me find the user with the id of one okay so if i go here and let's say user find with the id of one so if i click on tinker so now you can see the results are here so you can run anything that you can run on laravel project so let's say we want to get all the users yeah we can just say user get and just click on tinker so you can see here we are getting all the users okay there is also an, another option here which is known as artisan so if you go here now you can run any commands from here okay so if you don't want to run any commands from the terminal within this project then you can easily run it from here so let us create a controller so we just want to create a controller and let us give it the name as posts controller and we'll generate a resource controller class okay so like this so if we do this then it will run this php addition make controller post controller within this laravel 8 project which is this project so let me show you first uh, here in the file structure so if we go here app http controllers so there is no posts controller yeah so if i hit on this run so you can see here controller created successfully now if i go here you can see here this post controller is here now you can share all the resource methods are here index create and all those other methods seven methods are here so if you are not good in terminals then you can use that feature but the most important feature that you will use is this the code one yeah so let's say if you want to test any of the code then you can directly run it here so instead of writing the code in the controller and going into the browser and again returning the results and viewing by adding the code into the dd yeah so that is a little bit cumbersome but you can easily do it here and it is open source also if you want some other features like you can see here it is only white screen yeah so if you want dark mode then you have to sponsor the creator so if i show you here in this repo so you can share this dark mode yeah but we cannot see here option because we'll only be able to see that option when we sponsor the creator so if you see here in the settings we have only these options here now if i go here and if you see here become a backer and if we go here and you can share you will get these extra features and it's five dollar a month so if you want to sponsor or become a backer then you can just go ahead and include these features in this 
app so i hope you enjoyed this video guys so if you enjoyed this video then please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and also hit subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this thank you for watching have a great day bye